Okay, we're recording. Hello, today we're talking to Flo and Bran. Um, they got married at Secret Creek last year, just after, actually, what was it? It was this year, oh my God. <laughs> oh. Um, it seems like a long time ago. It was like right after the bushfires that we yeah. had, which were crazy, and before all this COVID stuff, um, which is also crazy. So just a little pocket of normal life in between those two crises. Um, yeah. And yeah, like I said, it feels like a lifetime ago. So it was earlier this year. Um, oh, I've got a visitor. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. Um, okay, so I'm just going to ask some questions. We're talking about vegan weddings. We're going to have a helper. We're talking about vegan weddings. And... Um, <laughs> yeah, now you've got to be nice and quiet if you want to stay in here, okay? All right, good. Um, so the first question is, why did you choose to have a vegan wedding? Um, well, we chose to have a vegan wedding because we're both vegans. Um, I think I've been vegan for two years or so. Yeah. And Bran around... Probably a year. Yeah, around that time. Yep. Um, and we just wanted to show everyone how good a vegan wedding can be, including, you know, the food and yeah. it, it doesn't have to diminish any of the fun or the festivities. Um, yeah, I like it because it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's like a minimal impact way of doing a wedding, mm. I guess. Like, um, you know, with, the, yeah, with the food and stuff and it's nice being like the sanctuary is quite nice as well. And, um, like having animals there and I think, yeah. I think all the guests like that but yeah yeah and something else just in line with our values if it's if it's our wedding it should be about us and a vegan wedding really reflects who we are yeah yeah, um, yeah definitely as well so yeah awesome um so <laughs> did you have any backlash from any of your guests um leading up to it so um did anyone sort of question your decision and say, oh, you know, but everyone else has to eat meat just because, you know, you're forcing your, your um, lifestyle on your guests, that sort of thing. Did you have anyone give you any of those kind of um, comments? No, not really. Not directly. No, I think we're pretty lucky. Like our, our family and friends are all pretty uh, uh, open and, yeah. what's the word, like progressive, I guess. So they, yeah, they're all pretty flexible to this sort of thing. And yeah. most of them just came into it with the idea of like, oh, that's really weird, but I'll try it for you guys. <laughs> well, my mum thought that there would be like a separate meat menu and oh, a, okay. a vegan menu. Oh, yeah. A lot and of them, I yeah. I don't know, everything's vegan. And she was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I'm excited to try the food. And so that was surprising because, you know, my mum's Chinese, and very old fashioned. Um, <laughs> but that was good. And I told a lot of my guests um, just a few hours before the wedding to not eat macas along the way because I didn't want them to <laughs> their appetite. <laughs> you know, you're going to be well fed. So yeah, hang in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think that is a common one that happens. Like, um, but people are always so full and there's always like, I mean, I know with <laughs> weddings that I do, there's, it's, we focus on really feeling stuff. So it is, it is very, um, it's very filling. So, you know, yeah. it's, people there's food left over and if everyone thinks that they're going to eat just salads and veggies and be really hungry then um yeah it's a bit of a waste. actually we're, we're still eating the wedding cake at this point <laughs> are you oh that's awesome what perfect um perfect time in isolation having wedding cake every day that's Makes awesome that it's lasted this long <laughs> did you uh, wrap it into little pieces yeah and then we yeah. froze most of it yeah Oh, cool. It still, it still tastes, it tastes like basically the same, yeah. Yeah, wedding cake, like cake in general, is, I always tell people, just freeze it. It freezes so well. Like, people yeah, yeah, don't yeah. really think of it. But just wrap it into little pieces um, and then stick it in the freezer. And every time you need a cake hit, you can just pop <laughs> one out. Post workout, yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, okay, so we covered about whether you told them beforehand. So you only told them a few hours beforehand. You didn't make a big deal um, out of telling them. No, not a big deal. Like on the wedding invitation, it didn't say vegan yeah. reception or anything. Um, I think some people asked and then yeah. they were, they were t like if people asked us, we, we would tell them, yeah, yeah it's yeah. vegan. Yeah. But like Flo said, a lot of them didn't, didn't realise that the whole thing was 100% vegan. They sort of thought that they were going to be eating meat and we were going to be eating vegan food. Um, yeah. but like, I think everyone was very surprised when they, when they actually got there. Yeah. And realized the whole thing was a hundred percent and that 
you know, the food tastes the way it does, but yeah. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> awesome. Um, okay, so moving on from the food, um, I just want to talk a little bit about the other vendors that you used. Um, so maybe go through who they were and, um, and then how you went through the decision making process of who you chose to use for your, for your wedding. Yeah. Evelyn? First. Evelyn. So our celebrant was Evelyn. Um, Evelyn Kilornahan. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Um, we used a lot of the vendors that you had actually suggested to us, Tanil, um, because we had no idea um, who to choose or where to start. Um, and I think when you suggested um, Ben as our photographer, from when Kings I, and Faves, from Kings and Faves um, I looked up his website and I soon found out he was vegan. I was like, oh, well, that's super cool. And his style was amazing. It's still amazing. Um, I was just really excited. Um, and I just started to think, well, let's get vendors that we actually like get along with and have a good time with because that's what the wedding should be about having a, a good time. Um, I think we spent, I think we spent a lot of time on for, um, different, like photographer, for example, we spent a lot of time on different websites, just yeah. looking at their portfolios and stuff and trying to find one that the style of it really uh, connected, with, connected us. with us. Yeah. 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 Um, and I think at that, like at that point we hadn't met Ben or anything. We didn't know about him, but his photos just really attracted both of us. Yeah. Um, and then once we had, like having a face-to-face -face meeting with him was actually real, like a really good way to make sure that this was the right person for us. Yeah. And the same with Evelyn and Sam. Um, oh, video yeah, video guy. Yeah. yeah. When we had, once we actually met all of them, that that was the, really the thing that helped us confirm that these are the right people that we want there on the day. And it got us really excited as well because it really um, makes things real um, when you meet them. And it's all happening. Yeah. Um, but in terms of other vendors, we like for my dress and brand suit, we just went to um, places in the city. Like we're in Sydney. So um, for brand, we were quite mindful to try and source a vegan wedding suit, like something that didn't have wool, I think wool, yeah, wool right, in it. Yeah. Um, so we communicated that request to um, Bed Tech Suits. And they said, yeah, we have, you know, um, was it Pauline? I think it was just cotton in the end. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they were very, very accommodating. Um, and so that was good. Um, but we kept things pretty low key. Like we got you to do a lot of the things um, to now. <laughs> and you did an amazing job. So I think that was great on my part because I didn't, I didn't really want to, um, make a lot of the decisions like I didn't have much of a clue of what I wanted to be yeah, honest. It's not like we've done this before. Yeah, yeah well, that's the thing most people they only do it one time and yeah. I think like the vendors that you choose um, you do want to have that rapport with them I think that's a really good yeah. point um, that meeting them is a good thing to do because you you know you know if you have that rapport and and it's like it's such an intimate event like you've just yeah. got you know you've got your family and friends it's so personal and intimate. You want people you yeah. feel comfortable with. Yeah, that's um, right. And then, yeah, like, I think aside from that, obviously, like, the, those vendors, Ben um, is super professional as well. Like, such a cool, creative guy. But he's yeah. also, like, the work that he produces is just just beautiful and professional yeah. and amazing. Like, and yeah. he's just got such a unique style. Like, I love yeah. his work. Yeah. yeah. He does yeah. such a good job. Um, I think I was saying just before that I was just looking through some of your photos and all the photos of all the guests hugging and, and you know, like he just really captures that, um, yeah. that feeling, like the feelings uh, that are there. It's not, yeah. like they're not all just, um, you know, those. those stock standard, these are people yeah. standing in front of the camera. It's like, you know, those emotions that, that are going on and that's a really hard thing to do. I had a very similar conversation to what you've just said with Ben myself because it's that same thing. Like I, I, I was into photography, for, uh, into photography for a while and I was always going for like a perfectly, you know, like, no, like no blur, the right lighting, all that yeah, sort of yeah. stuff. Yeah. And it ends up looking staged and like his style is completely the different, opposite, the opposite yeah. to that. Yeah. But he actually captures the feeling of the day and, yeah. and that's, 
ultimately that's what you need from a photo because it needs to spark your memory of how you felt at the time, mm. not just like, oh, here's a great photo of like all the people that were there. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. That's so true. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. Mm. Yeah, Sam, Sam was really good as well. Mm. Like, I was so impressed because yeah. he's he's like 22 or something, isn't he? 21? Yeah, he's a kid. Yeah. <laughs> and he's mad. He, he's fully he's so professional talented. and he's like going overseas and stuff to do videos now. And yeah. it's just crazy. Like, he's he's going to be he's just. going to be famous yeah, one day. <laughs> kind of yeah. Oh, yeah. I love his work too. Every time I see one of his videos, um, I always cry. Like, it's just so. I don't know. He's just. Yeah, he's yeah. really good. So, you guys made some really good decisions i think um and the people i recommend like i don't recommend a lot of people because i recommend people that i've worked with and people who i really respect and admire professionally but also creatively as well um but yeah like like i said and like you said you need to have that personal rapport and people aren't always going to have the same rapport with different vendors so there's yeah. a perfect person for everyone and you know um definitely meeting them and um and seeing whether or not you do you know, have that with someone is really important. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, is there anything that you didn't consider that you should have? So in hindsight, was there something that maybe you should have done that you didn't? I don't think so. I was pretty happy with how everything went. Yeah, yeah. I was a bit surprised. Yeah, it felt, the, yeah. the whole day just felt like, um, it's like one of those bank heist movies. Like everything, like we'd been planning it for so long. And all this stuff just fell into place and it was just perfect. You know, like I, like I don't look back on that day and think, oh, I wish I had done this or that or, yeah, it just, it just all felt right. Like there might have been things that didn't work out perfectly, but we didn't care or we didn't it's think about it. Experience. Yeah, we just had yeah. such a good day and everyone was just enjoying themselves. Yeah. And well, that's always been possible. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think um, for other couples, um, do you think that that was something that you were try actively mindful of doing like relaxing and allowing the day to just unfold or yeah. is it something that maybe it's just your personality or like is there something like if somebody's watching who's planning their wedding and they're finding themselves stressing over those little things um yeah. is there anything that you particularly did or you just like lucky chilled out people <laughs> oh we were super stressed on the morning oh, yeah. we did not eat like the whole day I think, um, I think I was like almost throwing up. On yeah, the Bram, morning. Bram was like, yeah. he was he was wanting to throw up in the morning. <laughs> I felt quite nauseous. It was so weird. Through. Yeah. Um, it's meant to be this fun day. Yeah, we were just so ner out. we were so nervous, and the whole week when I was at work, like I didn't take the week off. I just could not concentrate. It just. <laughs> It was. It wasn't. Okay, so you're not chilled out, people. No, we're not <laughs> chilled out. Okay, we we're gonna make ourselves either. to be like that, but no. Okay. Uh, but once, once it actually started, and like, I walked up to where the ceremony was, and I saw Evelyn. It was just like, all right, like I've I've done everything I can. Yeah. I've planned all this. It's time to just live in the moment and yeah. just enjoy this day. Yeah. yeah. And from then on, it was just like Mr. Relaxo. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I think when you do trust the people that that you hired to work for you for that day, then that's yeah. what you can do. You're like, you can just go, okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, we've like done that's what their we job. Need. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they've done it a million times. And, and they've done it before. <laughs> yeah. They know what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. So, what was the best decision you made in hindsight? Oh, uh, to get married. <laughs> yeah. That was good. Yeah. I reckon, um, I reckon keeping it small for yeah. us. Yeah. But, like, that's going to be different for everyone. Yeah. But for us, at least, having... Um, we kept it to 50 people total. Yeah. Um, and that meant that, like, everybody really got involved in it. It was very intimate. We got to talk to every single guest. We got guest. to chat to every single guest. Yeah. We got photos with every single guest. Yeah. And, yeah, it just felt like everyone that was there were the, all the people that we really wanted to be there. There was yeah. no like random plus ones, like your your mum's brother's cousin from overseas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love intimate. Like, I mean, in fifty people, like it's still a decent amount of people. Like, you know, it's yeah. still I mean, uh, a big party. Um, yeah. But that I just think like you know between you know between fifty and hundred is like. I don't know, like, there's just a really good number of people. Like, yeah. it's just, um, like you said, you have enough time to actually talk to people. You can also have that space for yourself as well, like a little yeah. bit of time because, yeah. you know, there's enough people there that you can kind of, you know, have your own little times here and there yeah. as well. 
as yeah, a I think I reckon that, like a, a lot of people um, would probably struggle with that because we we're lucky because we actually have very small families. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and you know, very small groups of friends and stuff. Yeah. But I would still think that if you've if you've got the opportunity to cut it down a bit, it it's probably better. Even though some people won't get to make it, but like it it just makes the day a bit more special. But yeah, yeah. that's that's my opinion at least. <laughs> Sorry about this. I don't have a babysitter right now, so. Okay, then you've got to be quiet, all right? All right, next question. Um, did you do anything yourself? I think we kind of covered that. Um, but mm. you, um, did you have any little DIY things mm. that you added to, your, to the day to make it yep. your own? Yeah. So um, Evelyn, our celebrant, um, suggested different styles of, what do you call it? Like different um, little things. Ceremonies. Different, different styles of ceremony. So there's one where you like hold hands for the whole ceremony. Um, there was there was one where you like wear a kilt or something, and we went with the one where you um, you have a wine box, and so you you put you each write a love letter. You sorry, each of us writes a love letter to the other person, seals it in this wooden box with the wine, and then you open it on your fifth anniversary, mm-hmm. and you read the letters and you drink the wine, and it's really cute. But I actually made the wooden box for that. Oh, cool! That's really sweet. Yeah, um, displayed in this. In the ceremony. Yeah. 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 So that was like front and center on this yeah. little table. And I think I think all the guests like that because it kind of for me it, it reflects me a little bit because I'm like a handy person and that was my little thing in the ceremony. And we also used my car as the wedding car, but that's just because I happen to have like a white car. <laughs> and yeah, those photos look so good by the way, with the um I will put one up when I share this online. I'll yeah. put one of those yeah. photos up with your car in it because they look so good with the all the birch trees behind the city. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. When we drove in that day, I was like obviously it's you know, what happened is very serious, but I thought, man, like these are gonna make some really cool photos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like all the different colour tones and stuff. It's just not what you would normally see there. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Like, yeah, like you said, it's it's a the bushfire was kind of a shit thing. However, made for some very good photos. And yeah, yeah, yeah they looked oh, really and good. Was oh, we also had um, like disposable cameras and stuff that we oh, let our, yeah. our guests run around with, um, yeah. and just and we had a slideshow going yeah. on, like all the photos that we kind of took from when we started going out. Oh yeah. Oh well, and when we were babies. <laughs> yeah, it was, like, it was like a massive scrapbook of our whole oh, lives. Yeah. yeah, that was really cute, the photos of you when you were kids. They were really good. I like that. <laughs> um, those are some really good ideas for other people to do. The wine box one, that'll be so nice. So on your fifth anniversary, you open it up and read each other's letters. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be so nice. Something so yeah. cool. And actually, um, Ben, our photographer, suggested that we, we go back to the same lookout that we shot the photos at in the first place. And like he'll he'll do a photo shoot with us as we open this box on the fifth anniversary. So oh, we're, how sweet we're like, is that? Yeah, so and then we'll grab lunch at Secret Creek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, what a good idea. That's so sweet. Um, okay, what's your favorite memory of the day? Uh, probably the speeches. That was quite special. Um, I mean, like obviously. Like the dance with flow at the end was that was that was because that was something that I just I do not dance I hate dancing. Oh, I don't dance. I'll probably never dance again. But that I'll have one, it captured on the video, so that's good. That one moment was just it was special for me. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, to be honest, like the speeches were pretty crazy. Like mm. it's it's to realize how well all these people know you and stuff. Like it, I feel really appreciative to have a group like mm-hmm. that around us. And, you know, like my dad, you know, did a speech and my best man and um, like Flo's best friends and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, it was very meaningful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we felt very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, um, that always, I don't, I like to try not to listen to, like if I'm around at an event, I don't listen mm-hmm. to people's speeches because even though I don't know people, I usually start crying because I'm just like, well, <laughs> <laughs> they're just so <laughs> touching and like sing. What's up? We did make mention of you. Yeah. Well, usually they come and tell me, and I go, oh, that's so sweet. I would have cried if I had a baby standing there. 
Um, and it doesn't look very professional if you're crying. Like, you've got to be professional as well. Like, I, I love doing weddings, especially for people that you really, really love. And, yeah. you know, and you guys were just such a pleasure to work with. And I, I would have been crying in your speeches for sure. <laughs> um, okay, so number one piece of advice for couples that are planning their wedding now. Um, me? Yeah. Oh, um, I think just to keep it simple um, and to make it about themselves, like the couple. Um, yeah, your day. Yeah. Like write down what, what is special um, about the day for what the two, um, the couple. Um, but, yeah, don't get stressed about, you know, advice from your friends or family if you really feel like you're being pressured like don't don't get pressured into anything you don't want to do yeah um, I, I was um uh, when I was planning the w bits of the wedding I really had this sense of like oh but you know like I have to make sure that so and so is is happy or, yeah. or will they but like will this suit that particular person that sort of mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. but I think it was like my uncle and one of my other really good friends just said forget everyone else they're just there to watch they're like it's your day mm. you do whatever you want and they will all be happy no matter what mm. like, yeah. at, like if yeah. you don't want to if you don't want to sit around at um reception the whole night you don't have to like you can just go away and do your and own thing early or, it's too much yeah. um don't feel obliged to yeah. to like entertain every single minute yeah um, that really helped to get both of us uh yeah, quite relaxed, quite relaxed. Yeah. yeah 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 and yeah, it, just means that, it just means that the day goes, like, it just means that it becomes more about you mm. and not so much about what other people think. Mm. Sort yeah. Of thing. yeah, that's really good advice. And I think if you're somebody who like is personally, like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually a bit of an introvert and it does stress me out having people around me all day and it's all about yeah. you and taking those moments and just saying, look, you know, if people are looking for me too bad, you know, I'm just going to yeah. sneak off for a little while and take a breather yeah, exactly. and relax yeah. and be together as a couple and just process what's happened. And I think a lot of people do say that that's a really good thing to do is to just take those few moments um, through the night to kind of reconnect. Um, yeah. Cause if I, like I have an event like that, um, like it's different if I'm working and if I'm cooking, but if I'm the center of attention for all night, I'd need like three days to recover from that. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. So that's really good advice. Well, Definitely. It's your day. Um, and there's no rules. Like other people might have rules about, yeah, that too. you know, yeah. Good advice. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for sharing your memories of your day and mm. all of your advice. Right. With people. Yeah. Um, there's lots of people that have, um, had to postpone their weddings and stuff. And, mm -hmm. and I think like, yeah, must be pretty hard for them. So something to look forward to. And, you know, there's still, um, there'll be another side of what we're going through at the moment and we'll, we'll yeah. be able to hug again and celebrate again. And yeah, so look thank forward. you for helping people yeah. to look forward to the future. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll be over soon, so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's worth it in the end. Yeah, definitely. That was definitely, like, that was the best day of my life. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, and yeah. we'll catch up again soon, hopefully, before your five-year wedding anniversary. Yeah. But on the other side, we'll reopen at Secret Creek and we'll catch yeah. up with you. Okay. okay thank right. you. Thanks, Mark. See Thanks. you.